2022 Ford Bronco Badlands. What's this vehicle got to offer? Well, this is a super off-road worthy vehicle because it has the Sasquatch package. And what we're gonna do today is we're gonna do a quick walk around and find out what this vehicle has in store for us. All right, so starting here with the front of this vehicle. Wow, look at all that ground clearance that you get on this Badlands with the Sasquatch package. Uh, you got Bronco spelled out on the front there. You got the big round headlights that the Bronco is known for. Plus, you do have some front sensors here and a camera here on the front because you got that 360 degree camera here on this Badlands. You also do have a little cutout here in the bumper area where you can put your own accessories like uh, uh, additional fog lights um, or anything like that there. You can put down on the bottom there, which is nice to have, especially when you're customizing your Bronco. Coming on the side here, you got these big fender flares with these big wheels here. These are 17 inch wheels and you have really, really meaty tires here on uh, this vehicle. It's got uh, 315 by 70 R17. So again, 315 70s R15s. Wow, uh, pretty big tire there on that vehicle, especially if you're gonna go off road. Uh, Badlands badge right here on the side of the vehicle. Um, you do also have a nice mirror cap uh, right there that has the LED turn signal. Plus, you got the backup or the uh, camera here for the 360 degree camera. Um, and again, you can actually, with the Broncos, the mirror is actually connected to the uh, front of the vehicle, right uh, head of the A pillar. So you can take these doors off and uh, have the doors off if you would like there. Again, big wheel on the back there, fender flares on the back as well, and you can have this hard top um, on this uh, Badlands trim level. You can get a, an optional soft top on this one, or hey, you know what? You can take the top off all together there and just have it uh, you know, open, free and open, pretty nice. LED tail lights here with your reverse lights. You got a forward logo down there at the bottom, and you have a fifth wheel back here that is for your uh, spare. So if you pop your tire here on the trails, you can pop this other tire right on there and keep on rolling. Down the back there, you do have some tow hooks on it as well, and you do have sensors here on the back. So again, if you're getting close to a rock um, or if you're getting close to a car in the parking lot, it's going to peep at you. Now, let's pop open this trunk area real quick. All right, so just because it's an off-road vehicle doesn't mean you don't have cargo area. So pop this right on open here, and it swings open like a big barn door. Pop it right on out there so you have this big access. And then what you can do is also you can lift this right up, and it gives you free access right to the front of the, or the back of the vehicle there. So a whole bunch of cargo area here. Look how much you actually get back here. Absolutely awesome. You can also throw those seats down if you want to get a little bit more cargo area in there. But you can actually put a ton of stuff in here. Down below that, you do have your um, spare tire kit and everything. Plus, you have a little storage area down there as well. You also got some tie downs there. So, if you got some uh, skis or if you got some uh, stuff you want to put back there, you can tie them right down and then shut this right on up. Let's go look at the engine underneath this hood. All right, so underneath the hood on this bad lands. And man, I tell you, this is a bad land truck. All right, so underneath the hood, this is a 2.7 liter V6 engine that is producing 330 horsepower. Now, you do need to use premium fuel for that 330 horsepower rating, but it is also hooked up to a 10 speed automatic transmission, and the fuel economy rating is 17 miles combine here with this sasquatch package everything is uh, pretty accessible right up there you'd have your battery and everything like that there if you want to work on it oil change is pretty um accessible inside these vehicles um let's go over to the window sticker all right so you might be saying man this is a super nice truck how much does it cost so uh msrp on this one let's actually go over to the options so the uh badlands 334a package is five thousand and eighty five dollars the 2.7 liter EcoBoost we just talked about that gives you the upgraded horsepower is $1,895. And the Sasquatch package here on this Badlands is $44,000, 4000 not $44,000, $4,090. And then with this uh, hard top, you got $695. The uh, leather trim uh, seats is $2,195. And then the front bumper HD modular, um, the, the bumper there on the front is $575, all coming down to $62,720 here on this vehicle. Uh, very nice vehicle. Let's go over to the second row seat. All right, second row seats time. Let's pop this door open. So you'll see that this door, again, can't come off. So the window um, isn't attached to the, the top of the frame there. So you can pull this door off if you like and just ride with the two, you know, the, the doors off there. But coming to the back door here, get some gray accents here, silver chrome uh, door handle there that's very 
nice, very big. You got a grab handle over there as well. And then here on the actual door, you have a nice gray finish here on a door handle, plus a little uh, pocket down there that has a little mesh so that uh, if you put something like wet or anything like that there, it uh, will go right in and uh, not get moldy or sticky or anything like that there. Coming to the back seat here on the driver's seat, again, you have these little cutouts here where it, it's not gonna get you know anything wet or anything gonna get caught in there too, too bad. Mesh here on the back there as well. And then over here, you have those leather trim seats here in the back with some uh, yellow accents here on it, which are nice that lead all the way across. These seats do fold down and flat out of the way if you'd like, and you can kind of then store some stuff in there. Uh, then we can pull these seats right back up, flip them up right over there, and they're back in. Center console here. You can pull that right down. Two cup holders, nicely padded armrests. And then down in the middle, you'll see that it says no step, don't step on here. And uh, then you have your window controls here, automatic window controls for the back. You have a 110 volt here on the back. Plus, you do have two USB ports, USB-C and a USB-A right down there. Right in the middle, you got the hump here on the back because that power is going to the rear wheels by nature. Four by four here on this one especially. And let's go up to the driver's seat now. All right, so let's go front door time here, but let's actually look at the key first here. So traditional Ford key, um, got unlock, lock, remote start, and uh, your hazards for the horn there. And then on the back, there's a sticker right there, but it does spell out Bronco here on the back. So pretty nice. That way you remember that you do drive a Bronco. <laughs> Coming here, you do have intelligent access, so you can um, lock the door when you're walking away just by pressing that button, and then you can also um, unlock it there as well without having to get the key right out of your pocket. So let's jump on over here. So you're going to see, again, same design here on the front door, gray hip here on the top, uh, chrome door handle here, silver chrome door handle on the top. Yeah, there's nicely padded armrests right here grab handle here or a door handle uh, that's kind of gray with some uh, interesting design finish there and then you have a another a pocket here again um, that you can put some stuff in and then you have your unlock buttons are right there as well um, coming on over you do have a nice little grab handle here with Bronco spelled out and it's very rubberized textured so that way if you got to grab it you know you, you can really get a good grip on it there which is pretty nice coming on over to the seat here you got power seats here with two-way lumbar support leather seating surfaces here and you do have that pretty cool little bronco badge right in the middle you have the uh, headrest right up here that is adjustable and you have a uh, yellow stitching that goes all the way down the side you have this leather wrap steering wheel here which we'll get into in a second but you do have heated uh, option here um, on the left side you do have your windshield uh, wiper stalk plus you have a little air vent in here that has a yellow finish there on it which is pretty cool and then down a little bit further than that you have your automatic headlights and interior dimming lights and then the mirror lights um, right there as well this is a regular manual uh, telescoping um, uh, steering wheel and uh let's jump on the inside and turn that touch screen on now all right so we're inside the four bronco give you a look outside the front we're gonna drive this in a second as well but giving you a look out the front you got a bronco logo right on over there on the side of the uh, dash right there again some air vents with some yellow accents let's turn this vehicle on so i got the key in my pocket push to start right there you do have ford's 12 inch touch screen right there but while that's booting up i want to show you something pretty cool Look up here at the top there. You do have two USB ports that you can plug here at the top. Pretty interesting spot. You have a little uh, speaker up there at the top there, and then you have some of your controls here um, for your differential, and then uh, uh, traction control off, and then your hazard lights right there. And the buttons are kind of um, right located right inside here, which is pretty cool. And uh, you basically just press them, and then they'll turn right on, so it's pretty cool. Um, coming on down a little bit further than that, you have your 12-inch touchscreen here with navigation. It's got Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Turn the music down there before I get copyrighted. Um, you have, uh, you know, different settings and everything. Of course, you have a whole bunch of off-road stuff as well. Um, you can go in here and kind of go through those. Um, it's just overall a really nice really easy to use system um, that even does uh, use like a hot spot and all that kind of stuff there as well pretty cool coming down a little bit further you have your um, radio controls here with your ac controls you do have dual zone climate control in this vehicle plus you have three zone heated seats for both front passengers and a heated steering wheel here right there as well grab handle there with yellow accents and you have this cool little badge here uh it says bronco and everything and uh, dearborn michigan usa built at michigan assembly plant so pretty cool there and then down on the bottom there you do have your usb ports plus a wireless charging pad that's right wireless charging pad down there shifter here it's got a bronco on it plus a us uh, flag right down there as well kind of engraved into the silver pretty cool shifts right down there park reverse neutral drive in the manual mode which you can kind of shift up and down through the gears right there on the side 
you got your goat mode selector down here plus your two high four high four low and four auto modes plus you have your um, kind of different terrain settings there or trail mode uh, controls there so you can kind of press that and control that and then again shift these um, however you like there here what I'll do is I'm gonna shift this move these back and forth I'm gonna show you on the screen what that shows me so you got eco you got uh, slippery you got um, mud rut you got sand um, you got Baja and then you got rock crawl uh, and then if you go all the way over to the side you got your normal again there so pretty cool um, so very very nice there and then coming on over to the middle console you have your automatic power windows here you're locking for the windows so the kids can't control it and you have your mirror controls right down there which is pretty cool uh, padded armrest here not the most soft in the world but hey it is a you know at least somewhere to rest your elbow pop that open and then down there you have a, a 12 volt power outlet and a little bit of storage as well you know pretty nice coming over to the steering wheel here i'll straighten this uh, bronco steering wheel out bronco right in the middle there and then you got your controls here so on the left hand side you got your adaptive cruise control settings that's right bronco has adaptive cruise control and your volume up and down settings there and then you have some of your voice control settings over here hang up the phone uh track seek all that stuff and then this controls that center screen uh right in the middle there so i can press up and down let me switch hands here on the camera but i can press up and down and go through a whole bunch of different things there um like fuel economy um, off-road settings there again you're gonna take this off-road right so uh, you know you got your pitch and roll you got uh, you know your off-road status I mean you name it it's got it um, you know they, they really designed this Bronco really uh, for folks who want to take this and have some fun on the weekends let's go out and let's drive this thing all right, so we're behind the wheel of this 2022 Ford Bronco. This is the Badlands edition with the Sasquatch package. So you have those big, meaty tires. And let's kind of talk about the Ford Bronco and, and where it kind of sits in Ford's lineup. So Ford really wanted to bring the Bronco back when they brought it back to compete really directly against really one vehicle, the Jeep Wrangler. The Jeep Wrangler has been Jeep's tried and true off-road vehicle for years so when Ford brought the Bronco back they wanted to go head-to-head -head with the Jeep Wrangler so you're gonna see packages um, like the the Rubicon um, go uh, Jeep Wrangler Rubicon go against uh, packages on the Ford Bronco as well and so they really kind of tuned that to it so Jeep Wrangler rides like an off-road vehicle that you go to the beach with and you go climb rocks with and let me tell you something the Ford Bronco is very similar <laughs> um, listen the ride in the Ford Bronco is nice um, it is not the most soft plus ride it's not the most comfortable ride on the road it is not the most quiet ride on the road uh, but this vehicle will do crazy things off-road in the sand and uh, when you go off the beaten path there, or when you go on the beaten path uh, off of the, the pavement. So um, Ford really, really did a good job with the Bronco and tuning it on that. Now, let's talk about kind of the steering feel, the, the tire feel, all that kind of stuff here in the vehicle, plus like kind of noise. So I'm gonna be quiet for a second. You're gonna hear the wind noise in this Ford Bronco. So you can hear the wind noise coming from. Now this has got the hard top in it. And it's got some good insulation in the uh, the top of this uh, hard top, but you're still going to get that wind noise because it's really a boxy, um, you know, vehicle, and it's really not uh, made for the most quiet ride. Now the other thing that kind of gives more noise to this vehicle is these big tires. You have 315 um, tires on this vehicle, 315 by 70 um, tires. So these these tires are very um, loud compared to you know smaller dimensions um, that kind of stuff there they're, they're loud tires but again they're made for off-road they're not made to be quiet um, in this vehicle you're gonna have pretty tight steering you got a uh, rear wheel drive based vehicle I want to make a little u-turn here um, so you got a, a rear wheel drive base vehicle in this Bronco and uh, you have this 2.7 liter four cylinder engine. And so what I wanna do really quick is I wanna take off right from the, uh, a punch here, going from zero. And I'm not gonna get all the way up to 60. I don't have straight road to do that. Uh, but right off, the, uh, right off the bat, you can hear that V6 roar and it gives you some power. Um, 
you know, this vehicle, because it's so big, it's pretty heavy. Um, it's not going to be the speed demon, but it got, it's this vehicle that has plenty of power, especially in this 2.7 liter, um, to go off road, to give you power, all that stuff. If I was to get a Bronco, I probably would option up for this 2.7 liter because it gives you a little bit more power than that base 2.3 liter, um, that you find that a 2.3 liter you actually find in the Ford Explorer, the, uh, Ford Ranger. And don't get me wrong. It's adequate, but if you want a little more power, you want a little bit more kind of roar from the V6. Um, it doesn't sound like a V8, but if you want a little more roar from the V6, I would go with the V6, um, the 2.7 liter uh, V6, and um, that's the op that's the engine I would option up. It's an $1,895 option, but I would, uh, if I were getting a Bronco, I'd pay for that option there. Unless you want to go up to the Raptor Bronco, um, which has a 3 liter uh, V6, and that's uh, super powerful as well. 10-speed automatic, shifts very nice, very crisp. Um, you really don't even know it's there, which is a good thing from a transmission. Um, it ships very good, and if you want to shift it kind of on your own, you do have this manual mode down in the, um, uh, the shifter here where you can kind of shift that 10-speed automatic on your own steering again very firm uh very nice this uh, leather wrap steering wheel is very nice in the hands and overall listen i'm not telling you this is going to be a nice you know 500 mile uh trip you know vehicle which eh, you, you can still make those trips in it but it's just not going to be the most comfortable ride but listen this vehicle is going to do so much fun things off-road um, you sacrifice a little bit of road manner for that really nice off-road um, capabilities all right, so that wraps up our walk around here on this 2022 Ford Bronco Badlands. Let me know in the comment section below, would you buy the Ford Bronco over the Jeep Wrangler or over other vehicles, uh, the Toyota 4Runner, that kind of stuff there? Would you buy the Ford Bronco? And if you do, if you want to buy the Ford Bronco, would you buy the Badlands trim? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you haven't already done so, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. It would help me out so, so much. And I will see you all in the next video.